In this video, I'll show you how to create this kitchen in AutoCAD. My name is Jay and I'm the founder of JCAD. I make AutoCAD tutorials on YouTube and I focus on AutoCAD for Mac. Let's get into it. This video assumes you are already familiar a little bit with AutoCAD and the process. And just in case, if you'd like to know how I put this floor plan together, I'm gonna put a link in the card on the top so you can check out the video where I go step-by-step step creating everything. But anyway, the focus of this video is just on the kitchen design. The kitchen is made of several elements. One of them is, of course, the fridge, the sink, we have the range, and then we have casework and upper cabinets. And of course, some furniture right here. Now I'm using layers here and I'm using some blocks and I'm assigning the layers. And like I mentioned, you can learn more about that in the description or in the cards. But anyway, we're gonna create this from scratch and we'll go over how we put the design together, okay? So I'm gonna move this kitchen to the side using the move command, and then let's create this from scratch. So I'm gonna switch my layer to the zero layer. And then here, one of the first things I like to do when I'm working on the kitchen is to actually design the perimeter. So let's just use here a polyline. I'm gonna click here. I'm gonna do two feet deep, kitchen cabinet or bottom cabinet. And then here we're gonna do so the total length is 10, five. I'm gonna do eight, five inches, hit return. And then going down here, uh, potentially we'll do 10 feet. Okay, that was uh, 10 inches. I'm gonna do undo with command Z. Um, then I'm gonna type 10 feet and then put the foot symbol and then go back and then click back there. Then I'm gonna close the polyline. Now for this one earlier, like I showed you, I was putting the fridge in the corner so I would still like to keep that, um, but I also wanna give you, just so you know, I'm using a block to create this. So I'll give you a link to the blocks that I'm using in this. It's gonna be this one. I'm actually gonna copy it. We're gonna reference some of them. You can get this for free from the JCAT store or the Gumroad store, and I'm gonna place this here. Okay, so let's actually get, I'm gonna use the range, the fridge, the sink. I'm gonna copy all of these guys using the copy command and I'm just going to drag them here so we can use them and also I do want to check this fridge right here then I'm going to copy it maybe we'll use either or okay so now we have this so the kitchen design will be a little bit different I'll try to use additional blocks as well all right so here I would like to put the fridge in the corner so I think let's do three feet so what I did is I selected the polyline and then I'm going to click on this point right here and type 36 to slide it to the left by 36. I think this is what this block is. So I can move this from the corner to here. Okay, so this was actually three feet. And then I'm gonna slide it down by three inches just to leave some space in the back. And then I'm gonna slide this another maybe three inches. Okay, so I think I'm gonna also put the sink here or maybe we'll switch the sink uh, to be on the island versus on the window, and then we'll put the uh, we'll put the range actually here. So this window, I'm thinking we can slide it. I'm gonna use the stretch command, and then I'm gonna go up by. Let's first delete the hatch. We're not gonna need this, and then we're gonna stretch this up. Let's do for example four feet, forty eight. So this is good, and then right here I'm gonna draw the island. So I'm gonna come down here. I'm gonna come out by three feet just to leave a perimeter like to walk around uh, the kitchen cabinets. And then this is total 10 feet, so I'm gonna do seven feet. So that way it's three feet less. Then I'm gonna go to the right, let's do five feet for example. And then I'm gonna reference this point, slide here, and then boom, now we have the island. Now the sink, I'm gonna copy it. We can move it as well, but for now I'm gonna actually, let's try to place it in the middle. So to do that, I'll select it, I'll rotate it from this point down, and then I'm gonna select the sink and move it back inside. I'll slide it inside the island, essentially. Let's do two feet. Okay, this, so this looks pretty nice so far. And now I'm gonna put the range across from it. So this one, I'll copy it. Okay, and then I'm gonna rotate it like this. And then I'm gonna move it from the middle point to the middle point here and then basically slide it all the way back, okay? Now you can be a little bit more detailed and actually uh, move the casework so that way you leave like maybe two inches here 
and then you restart the casework again. So here I'm going to do a polyline like this, and I'm going to go out two feet. And then up to here we have two feet six, so maybe I'll do two feet four inches, okay, like this. And here we go, so we have the spacing now. Uh, we can maybe make the window like one foot smaller. I use the stretch command to make it smaller. And then the next thing I'm thinking, if we're going to use a dishwasher, which is this block right here, I'm going to copy it. So I do want to place it beside the sink. But the way I set up everything, it might not work to place it right beside the sink. So I'm thinking we can actually keep it. So we're going to rotate it. And then we're going to place it under the sink, under the island, basically. And then I'll push it right here, like maybe two inches. And then maybe push it back like one inch. Okay. And then let's say we want to represent like what's under the island. So we can actually use hidden lines. And for that, I'm going to switch now. I'm going to start using some layers. I'm going to use the hidden layer. Then I'm going to do a polyline. And then I'll leave a little bit of spacing, maybe two inches from this side right here. So the island, the total length is five feet. So I'm thinking let's do, for example, uh, two feet deep like this. So that way we can slide chairs under it or bar stools. And then this one is going to be six foot eight inches. So we're leaving another 10 inches from the other side. And then here we're going to have, now this is really super deep. I'm trying to be really detailed here. You don't have to be this detailed, but I'm trying to show you how to do a kitchen nicely. Okay, so we have all of this. And then what else we have? We can actually also place, so I do have, I think I do have a washer dryer block over here. Uh, it's right here. So this one, the washer dryer, I'm actually gonna copy it and I'm gonna place this beside the fridge. So this one, I'll place it in the corner. We'll stretch this another two feet, four inches. And then move this by two feet, maybe one more. Let's move it like two inches and then away from the wall another like three inches just like with the fridge so we still have a little bit of spacing so maybe we'll just push this maybe two inches like this now this now is taking a lot of space between the island and the and the um, and the washer dryer i'm using the dimension command here uh, so maybe we will move everything i will move everything down actually by let's say seven inches and then i'll stretch these guys by seven inches so that way uh, basically they stay aligned i'm going to use the ray command to make sure everything is aligned so we are good and then i will add the dimension again this is the command dimension linear so this one i created it um i created i i customized the shortcut i'll leave you a link on the top so you can see how to customize the shortcut for the dimension linear now this one set on the wrong layer let's switch it to this layer it's not visible i'll turn it on now actually delete this one and i'll delete these ones since we're not using them anymore and then i'm gonna switch the layer to dimensions so we can see how big is this like this okay so this is all good. And now the only thing left, we can actually add a hood as well. So I did include a hood. I'm going to copy it. And then we can place it above the range essentially. So if you notice this block, I did something with it uh, where I placed a mask within it. So that way when you place this block above an object, it will basically cover whatever is under it. So um, this might be a little problematic because if I place it right now above the range, so you're partially seeing the range, which is why I included the text that says range over here. And you can hide it by clicking here. I added a controller where you can say label on or off. So here we go. But I think you want to keep it on and this is all good to go. The last thing I'm going to do here is actually, so here we were showing you, I was showing you like we're keeping three feet here. The last thing I'm going to do here is basically assign the right layers. So this will switch it to equipment the dishwasher, the range, and the hood. These will be on the equipment as well. And then the sink will be on the fixture layer. And then the island and the casework, I'm actually going to place them on their layer. I'm going to use the furniture casework. Uh, in case you want to get these layers, I'm also going to include a download link for you. So you can actually download the list of the layers. There's kind of standard interior design and architecture layers. 
Uh, you can use them for both professions free of charge, download them for free and use them for your project and save time. Okay, the last thing actually, so I assigned the layers, I realized I missed adding the upper cabinets. And for that, I'm gonna use the hidden layer. So here we go, upper cabinet, I'm gonna click here, here, and then I'm gonna go back. So this is five foot, I'm gonna do four feet total because usually the upper cabinets are like one foot deep compared to the base cabinets. And then here, I'm just going to align it with the window because you don't want upper cabinets uh, covering the window. Then I'll align this like this and close it. So we have another one. And then here, we're going to do another one. So this hood maybe is taking a little bit more space than I expected. So we should, we should align stuff so that way it works. So that way we will do like this. So maybe we will push this down by one inch and then this one so it doesn't hit it on the upper cabinet. Uh, the base cabinet actually can stay where it was. It's not gonna affect the hood and the upper cabinet. Okay, so this was it. And then if you wanna detail this even further, you can actually place the dimensions and then your kitchen design is good to go. Thank you for watching. If this video helped you, please like and subscribe and see you next video.